You have fun there, Ziggy? Get cooled off? Oh, those horse flies are a menace, aren't they? Anyway, this pond used to be just this section. And a few years ago, John had it expanded up into here. The entire property drains down to the south and through the woods here, there's a big swamp. So we dug back in there. And as the excavator was in here digging to expand this spring-fed pond, the spring, spring is over there behind that tree, right out in the middle-ish area. And as we were digging over here, the excavator was just bringing up mounds of pure clay. All of this that I'm on right now should have all that clay mixed in. This hill that I'm, I drove up on is completely made from what the excavation pulled out of the pond. Hey Ziggy, don't be shaking on me now that you're all soaking wet. So I'm gonna get rid of the grass and goldenrod and raspberries and all the other... Oh, speaking of raspberries, there's some there. Those look yummy. I can get down here without falling. Anyway, I'm gonna try to pull a little bit off the top so I don't make any big holes. Mmm, yummy. Big as the cultivated ones up the farm, but still delicious. This hill is about 10 feet high, so I'm just gonna find a little corner over here by the woods, see if I can get some clay. Up. Dude, what did I just say? Now I'm soaked. Oh. I wasn't too hot. You need to cool me off. While I have the tractor here, I'm going to move some very large stones, both from here and from the garden, and use them all for seating around the smaller fire pit on the other side of the house. That's uh, a little bit of a thunderstorm going through the northeast and we're getting the tail end of it. So the thunder is way off, but the rain on the back of the front is coming through. And I was gonna keep working, but because I could see blue sky right there. I was pretty sure all the clouds were moving that way. I was pretty sure I was gonna miss it. Uh, and I was headed out to the garden, but I decided to jump off and push the tractor seat up. Time to get another cup of coffee. This will pass in a few minutes, but this next stone that I'm gonna get for the fireplace is uh, probably the most challenging one 
on the homestead and possibly the most challenging stone I've ever dealt with just in terms of its weight and size. Oh, here it comes. Thought I got off the tractor. Anyway, I didn't want to be messing around with that in the rain. Uh, it's gonna be hard enough as it is, so I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee. So that was indeed a very quick shower. Uh, it was gone. I just went in, poured a cup of coffee, put some creamer in it, and here I am. So that was probably less than three minutes. So now it's time to get out there in the garden to deal with that massive piece of granite. Um, it's going to be a challenge. No question about that. I mentioned previously that the reason that the stone wall that I'm moving was where it was is because I couldn't move that stone any further. That was five years ago now, six years, five years ago. Hoping I have a little bit more experience with the tractor now, a little bit more experience in general. I think it's gonna come down to who's more determined, me or that rock. The battle of wits has begun. Well, I've been picking away at this stone wall a little bit at a time. It's going pretty well. I'm liking how it's coming out. There have been a couple stones. For instance, this one was a challenge. Uh, and those two large ones. And then there was one big one up there that on the other side of that peach tree that was kind of challenging. And then there have been several that are so challenging that I just left them and figured I'll try again when I, it's not the end of the day. Or I'll wait till I get the tractor. Those two, for instance, are the biggest ones. And then there's one at the very end, which I haven't messed with because I haven't had a chance to move that uh, birdhouse. But this rock right here, this is the monster. This is granite. Unlike the rest of this stuff that has a granite look to it, this is actual main granite. And it's a massive rock. So I dug this out of a hole that was right here. And this is as far as I could move it five years ago when I was setting up the garden. Uh, you can see it goes in there a ways. It's a big, big rock. Uh, and I bet a bunch of stuff's gonna get destroyed. I'm hoping I don't mess up the stone wall too much. Uh, these blackberries are gonna go. There's some husk on the other side, which is gonna get destroyed, but it'll survive and I'll hopefully dig up the shoots next year. But it's a big old rock under there. It goes see what I can do here I'm not sure how it's gonna go but I really don't want it here and I'd love to have it over by the fire pit so time to see what we can accomplish
I got it out of that spot, but now it's in the middle of the garden and I have to move it. That's some good motivation. <laughs>